I'm in Salida, Colorado, and what I want to do is a gouache painting of this uh, old neon sign, this liquor store sign. Uh, gouache is a perfect medium for a painting like this because it allows you to overlap strokes and work with fairly fine detail. I'm using a watercolor sketchbook which has pretty heavyweight paper so it can handle the gouache. Because this is an upshot I have the tripod cranked up high and I'm sitting down low. I spend about an hour on the drawing. It's easier to fix a mistake in pencil than in paint. Um, I'll be approaching this by painting the sky first and then working around some of the smaller details. I'm using a large half-inch brush, much bigger than the forms that I'm painting. As I move down in the sky, I reach more for the lighter mixture of the sky color. I'll take that color and carry it all the way along the bottom edge and paint right across that light pole in the foreground. The sign is somewhat old and yellowed and there's a warm afternoon light on it. The brick building is a rich dark reddish brown, much darker than the sign. Now what I've been waiting for, the red of the sign itself, it's in direct sunlight so it's lighter and warmer than the local color. This is a good rule of thumb. If it's in light, paint it lighter than it appears. And if it's in shadow, paint it darker than it appears. And now I can clean up some of the edges of those light shapes. And if my hand's not steady enough, I can rest the brush on a straight edge. And those shadows of the neon tubes are all important. That's what I'm painting now, using a very fine pointed brush. My sequence then is to first paint the letters on the sign, then the shadows, then the neon, then the wires on top of them all. The neon casts a shadow just below the U. The painting looks lighter than the subject only because I can't expose the camera for both painting and subject at the same time. I'm avoiding pure black because I want to preserve some color character to the darks. The more I look at the neon sign, the more fascinating details I see. And because this painting is relatively finite, I can try to get most of those details in. I think one of the biggest challenges of painting outdoors is concentration. The limits that you run up against, or at least I find I run up against, is simply how much am I willing or able to concentrate with all of the distractions that are going on around me. Gouache has an infinite capacity for fine detail. And if you start broadly and work to smaller details later, you can construct a subject like this as an outdoor still life. I hope you enjoyed. There's lots more videos at any of these buttons. And this is just a sample of a longer form DVD or download that you can get at those buttons that say Kunaki or Gumroad in the About section. Thanks for coming by.